Let's train your listening today by telling the same exact story, but on three different levels of difficulty. After each story, we're going to break down the most useful vocabulary. And after that, we're going to outline exactly what made it beginner text and how it went from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Let's start with the first one. The first level is beginner. Я люблю кофе. Утром я пью одну чашку кофе, потом я работаю. Кофе мне очень нужен. Я пью кофе не для энергии, я пью кофе из-за вкуса. Мне нравится вкус кофе. Утро – самая сложная часть дня. Я люблю начинать утро с кофе. Я также люблю пить чай. Может быть, две или три кружки в день. Много кофе – это не полезно. Когда я работаю, я много думаю. Я работаю головой. Я пишу программу для уроков. Я решаю вопросы финансов. Я решаю административные вопросы. И я знаю, что если у меня есть чай, то мне легко решать такие вопросы. И я не смотрю в телефон и хорошо Работаю. Beginner text is done. Simple words, slow speed. I hope that you could keep up with this. And if you couldn't and you need to brush up and learn more listening and more vocabulary, I invite you guys to our BFluent camp and join with the first link in the description. We have listening practice, vocabulary practice, grammar and speaking. And our goal is to get all of you guys to speak Russian better by the end of it. We do have a beginner program. So if you did have trouble with this text, I guarantee that you will have a lot of fun and you will learn a lot with it. I'm going to be there personally teaching you guys. We start on July 4th. It's coming up very shortly. So join us with the first link in the description. And now let's talk about useful words from this text that you so highlighted as we were going along. Those words, I believe, will be truly beneficial to your vocabulary. If you use them in your sentences, you can talk about so many new things. Those words were утром, which means in the morning. Утром. We add that M at the end to say in the morning. Утром. Then we have потом, which means afterwards or after. Потом. Мне нужен. Мне нужен means I need. And this one is in masculine form. And if you need to know feminine, neuter, and plural, you can always look up this phrase. Мне нужен. And you'll find all of it on YouTube or on Google. Then we have для, which means for. Для. Then it's из-за вкуса. Из-за вкуса means due to the taste or because of the taste. Часть means part. Часть. Then we have в день means per day. I was talking about two cups of tea per day. В день. Полезно means useful. Полезно. Решать means to solve or to resolve. Решать. And lastly, вопрос means a question. Вопрос. Moving on to level number two, intermediate level. Я очень сильно люблю кофе. Утром я наливаю чашку кофе и начинаю свой день. Для меня это необходимо. Обычно люди пьют кофе для энергии, но я не чувствую разницу в уровне энергии после кофе. Мне просто нравится вкус кофе. Часто утро – это самая сложная часть дня, Поэтому я люблю начинать его с кофе. Я также часто пью чай около двух-трех кружек в день. Потому что пить много кофе – это вредно. Обычно я занимаюсь умственной деятельностью, когда работаю. Это написание программы для курсов, решение финансовых, административных задач и так далее. И я замечаю что когда я пью чай, то мне не скучно об этом думать, и я не отвлекаюсь на телефон. I hope that you could keep up with this text. The speed was a bit higher, the words were a bit more complicated, complicated sentences as well. I hope that you could keep up. And now let's talk about useful words from this text as well. The very first one is очень сильно which means very much. And typically we use this with verbs. When we do something very much, for example, in this text, I was talking about that I love coffee very much. So очень сильно is used with verbs, 
to say very much. Наливать means to pour. Наливать. Начинать means to begin or to start. Необходимо means that it's needed or it's necessary. Необходимо. Разница means difference. Разница. Часто means frequently or often. Часто. Вредно means not healthy or not good for you. Вредно. Заниматься means to be engaged in or to do something. Заниматься. I was talking about that I engage in thinking activities. So I do thinking activities. I engage in them. So things like that. Решение means solution or resolution. Решение. If you remember, we had решить in the previous one, which means to solve, to resolve. But решение means a solution, a resolution. And then finally, we have задача, which means a task. Задача. Level number three, advanced level. Я обожаю кофе. Каждое утро я наливаю себе чашечку кофе перед тем, как начать свой день. Для меня это необходимо. Обычно люди пьют кофе, чтобы зарядиться энергией. Но я, честно говоря, не ощущаю разницу в уровне энергии на себе. Мне просто нравится вкус кофе. Зачастую самая сложная часть дня – это утро. И поэтому почему бы не начать его со вкусного напитка? Я также часто пью чай. Где-то около двух-трех кружек в день, так как пить много кофе не очень полезно. В основном я занимаюсь умственной деятельностью, когда работаю. Это написание программы для курсов, решение финансовых, административных задач и так далее. И я замечаю, что когда у меня на столе есть кружка чая, то мне не так скучно об этом думать, и я меньше отвлекаюсь на телефон. And a few useful words from this text as well are Я обожаю, which means I adore, I love, I truly, I love very much. Okay? Себе means for myself or for, for me, for myself, I guess. Себе, I was talking about that I'm pouring myself a cup of coffee. Then, перед тем как means before the fact that, but we use this to form a complicated sentence. Before I do, перед тем как, I do something else, I do this. Then we have зарядиться. Зарядиться means to charge up. We can use it with a phone, to charge a phone or to charge up ourselves. Зарядиться. Ощущать means to feel or to notice by feeling. Ощущать. Then, честно говоря means honestly or honestly speaking. But of course, in English, we just simply say honestly, X, Y, and Z. Где-то means approximately or around when talking about quantities. Then we have в основном, which means generally. В основном. Замечать means to notice mostly by looking at something. Замечать. And отвлекаться means to get distracted. Отвлекаться. But now, moving on to the most interesting part of this video. What made each text beginner, intermediate or advanced? Or how did it evolve from the easiest to the hardest variation of it? Before doing that, before that analysis, let me just simply translate the text for you so you can understand if you understood the text properly by listening or not. And then it's going to be easier for you to understand the breakdown as well. So, it started with, I love coffee a lot. Every morning, I pour myself a cup of coffee before I start my day. For me, that's necessary, that's mandatory. Typically, people drink coffee for the boost of energy, but honestly, for myself, I don't feel that difference of energy on myself. I just like the taste of coffee. And typically, the most difficult part of the day is the morning. So why not start it with a cup of delicious drink? I also drink tea a lot about two or three cups per day, because drinking a lot of coffee is not good for you. And typically, I do a lot of intellectual work during work, which is writing the curriculum for our courses, uh, resolving financial, administrative kind of uh, tasks, and so on. And I noticed that if I have a cup of tea on my table, then it's not that boring for me to do all that thinking, and I get distracted by the phone way less frequently. That's the translation, and now let's go on to the breakdown of each level of the text. Now let's break it down how it went from beginner to intermediate to advanced, highlighting specific parts of the text. First part is beginner, я люблю кофе, and it went to я очень сильно люблю кофе. Я люблю кофе means I love coffee, я очень сильно люблю кофе is I love coffee very much. 
what you see now is the part that is different because we want to be more specific about emotions and we add очень сильно. And then the advanced part is я обожаю кофе, which means I love coffee very much or I adore coffee. But of course, in English, we don't say I adore coffee. <laughs> we say I love coffee very much. But обожаю, even though it's only one word, is going to keep the detail of emotion, but we're going to make it more compact. Then we had я пью одну чашку кофе, which means I drink one cup of coffee in the beginner version. In the intermediate, it was я наливаю чашку кофе, which now means I'm pouring a cup of coffee. Not that I drink a cup of coffee, I'm pouring it. My goal with this sentence was I'm pouring a cup of coffee for myself and then I start my day. But because it, that would be a complex sentence for the beginner part, we had to break it into two separate sentences. And so one part, which you see right now on the screen, became I drink a cup of coffee. Not that I'm pouring it for myself, but I drink it. All right. And then in the advanced one, it was Я наливаю себе. Чашечку кофе. We add the себе, which means for myself. I'm pouring myself a cup of coffee. And then also чашечку is more of like a diminutive name for a cup. It's like little cup. So once again, we went from just a basic I drink a cup of coffee to I'm pouring a cup of coffee to I'm pouring myself a little cup of coffee. Then we have я люблю начинать утро с кофе. I love to start mornings with coffee. It went to поэтому я люблю его начинать с кофе. Which means, and that's why I love to start it with coffee. Now, again, for the beginner part, we had to break it apart into two simple sentences. I said, the morning is a difficult part of the day, and I love to start the morning with coffee. But for the intermediate, we put it together, and I said, that's why I love to start it with coffee, because it's so difficult. And then it goes into more complicated, of course, with advanced, and it says, и поэтому... Почему бы не начать его со вкусного напитка? Which changes the meaning completely. And it means, and why not start it with a delicious drink? So the morning is the most difficult part of the day. And so why not start it with a delicious drink? As you can see, we add this playfulness to our sentences now. Because we have more words to work with, we can express that idea in a more playful way now. We don't have to say, I love to start my morning with coffee, right? We can be, and why not start that part of the day with a delicious drink? More playfulness and more emotion again. Then, talking about work. Когда я работаю, я много думаю. When I work, I think a lot. Very straightforward kind of idea. When I work, I think a lot. But for intermediate, we said, обычно я занимаюсь умственной деятельностью, когда работаю. Typically, обычно, we add this обычно, uh, which means typically. Я занимаюсь умственной деятельностью. I engage in thinking or intellectual activities. Okay? So, <laughs> it went from I think a lot when I work to I engage in intellectual activity. Then for the advanced, we said в основном я занимаюсь умственной деятельностью, когда работаю. Which means в основном is in general. Not typically, but in general. As you can see, it went from when I work, I think a lot, to typically I engage in thinking activities when working. For beginner text, we said, я смотрю в телефон, and I'm looking in the phone, or I'm looking at the phone. It changed into, я не отвлекаюсь на телефон, I don't get distracted by the phone. And then it changed into an advanced version, я меньше отвлекаюсь на телефон, which means, and I get distracted by the phone less. You see how it went from I don't look at a phone to I am not distracted by the phone to I am distracted by the phone, but less. So again, we've been more descriptive, more direct, and more exact with our thoughts. It's not that I am not looking at a phone when I drink tea. I look at it, but I look at it less. So the more vocabulary you learn, the more descriptive you can be with your sentences, with the conversations, and you can understand what's being said to you better. And the way you can learn more vocabulary is with this beautiful in camp right here that we start on July 4th. Join us, I'll be there teaching you guys personally. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You'll learn more vocabulary, more grammar, and learn how to speak to a Russian person better.